Hello Driving Intelligence. Uh, many times through the years we've all used uh, an accelerant to find a vacuum leak on an engine. Uh, we take uh, something like carburetor cleaner or fuel, in, uh, fuel injector cleaner, throttle body cleaner, we spray it around the engine. If the idle jumps up then you've found your vacuum leak. Um, of course you still got to do a little bit of searching because you don't know exactly where that leak is. That's not always safe. Um, I remember in the past uh, we were using accelerant to try to find a vacuum leak on a Chevy 350 that had a distributor. Enough of that accelerant was sprayed out that it got close to the, uh, the vent on the distributor cap and it caused a fire at the top of the engine, um, which was quickly put out. But it's dangerous. It's, uh, it's not the right way to do it. Uh, the best way I've found to do this is to get a, uh, a smoke tester. A smoke tester is just a can that uh, contains a coil in it that gets a 12, hour, 12 volt power source from your battery. You fill above, up to above the, uh, uh, the coil inside it with mineral oil. Um, you connect it to an air source, uh, which you have to have a compressor to do this. And then you uh, connect this to a, uh, a vacuum source on the engine. I use the brake booster vacuum line. Um, and then the last piece to make sure that you have no leaks is to put uh, what I so a lot of times I'll just use a rubber glove and put it over the the air intake at the uh, the mass airflow sensor or the throttle body depending on what kind of vehicle you've got. And once the air starts pushing this smoke through the engine, you'll find every vacuum leak that uh, that that engine has. Um, so it's, it's it's an excellent source to uh, to to resolve vacuum leaks. All those lean condition codes that you get P zero one seven four is an example. Uh, I'm going to show you a short clip. Uh, this is for another video I'm going to make, but it shows on a Toyota Camry how I quickly found uh, a significant vacuum leak that was causing a very high um, fuel trim, long-term fuel trim, and a check engine light. Here I'm performing the smoke test, and as can be seen by the two center valve cover bolts, or rather nuts, that go on to the, uh, the spark plug wells. They were not tightened down and uh, the smoke is emanating around those pretty significantly. And this is, in my opinion, the cause of the, uh, the very positive long-term fuel trims. That um, All I did was uh, actually replace the seals and I will properly torque down these nuts and it should take care of the problem. As a final point, I just want to also note that uh, using accelerants don't always find your vacuum, uh, your vacuum leak. I was doing some work on a uh, 2002 F-150 once where I had a P0174 indicating uh, lean fuel conditions. Couldn't find a vacuum leak anywhere, so I was not following my own guidelines. This is when I went out and purchased the smoke tester, hooked it up. Uh, I found vacuum leak, very small vacuum leaks, um, but they, for some reason they didn't show up with the accelerant around the pintle on the EGR valve um, and also at the air temperature sensor on the inlet tube of the, uh, of the intake. Neither one of those caused a, an increase in vacuum, or excuse me, an increase in RPM uh, when I was spraying with the accelerant. So now I exclusively use a, uh, a smoke tester and I think you should too. Make the investment. Abe and I would like you to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and provide comments below. See you next time on Driving Intelligence.